Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. In episode 10, we are returning from a touch and go on a pogrom mission. Pogroms or pogroms are basically the same thing as terror missions from the standard Open XCOM game. And um, we unfortunately did not have the manpower to do much but leave despair in despair. Maybe next time we'll give them some hope. But um, we are returning back to the base. We've got a lot of good things, hopefully, ahead of us. An end of the month report. I'd like to see how that's going to turn out. See if we can get some more protection money from those um, tribes of which we've scared and put the fear of the, the uh, let's see, the uh, piratey folk about. So the shipping activity overall was 220, and our pirate activity was over 400 so that looks like we are doing a little bit better than our adversaries so we, we have a positive score at least we'll see if we get anything else i do want to mention something that's amazing 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 hang on a second here let me bring this up there we go okay diox sign our fine author of our mod right here this is a uh, screenshot that you're seeing from the Open XCOM forums, the OpenXCOM.org forums. And this is the um, Let's Play Pirates thread that I've got where I post my uh, various episodes. But Dioxine started actually analyzing and he made a scoreboard, a scoreboard for this. This is so cool. Look at this. So a scoreboard here, he's given each of the characters a score and a rank and he uh has you know the most here we have poor poor cross-eyed nikki kia by a heavy plasma gun on a guild sailor in mission zero three all the missions they partook in the different awards that they've got which are amazing he's come up with some amazing stuff misdeeds medals and commendations any scars they got any kills and catches it's really cool so there's uh, an entry for every soldier that he is putting in here. I highly recommend you check that out. Um, it's still in development and uh, we'll see what it looks like as time goes on. Maybe it'll get its own thread, but it is just the coolest thing in the world. This is all just actually after episode seven. Episode eight has not yet uh, aired when, when I am uh, recording this at this point, but it is so cool. So I, I will have the link in the description below and it will link to the current location list. I just had to show it off because it is the coolest thing in the actual world. Okay, so moving on here, I want to point out a couple things here. We are still running on the April 7th nightly. There's been a bunch of um, updates to nightlies um, today, which is the, the actually, well, yesterday, which is the, was the 15th, today's the 16th. I am ahead of you sometime in the I'm recording this in your past. You are watching this in my future. Oh, time travel on the internet. It's a wonderful thing. Anyhow, um, I'm still on the April 7th nightly, which is fine, but I am on Pirates version 9E, 9 Echo, as we like to say. And there are a number of significant things that are happening with this nightly, and one of which I want to show off just right off the bat here. So, first off, one of the things I never noticed is that uh, the tack fest was in the Bootypedia, and maybe I was just blind. I probably was. I looked through some of my older versions, and um, yeah, it's there. Uh, so, anyway, but the thing that's changed here, if you look at this value right here, smoke, and you'll look at our runt duds, and our pirate duds, and our unarmored duds, we, um, we have now become much more susceptible to smoke, as if 300% susceptibility to smoke wasn't enough, we're now 400%. So the girls, yeah, maybe three turns in smoke, maybe four turns, we'll have to see how this actually plays out. Um, Grog has been nerfed a little bit, which had been a good antidote to smoke uh, inhalation passing out. You could dump some Grog on a gal and she'd be up and running again. But now that's been nerfed a little bit. Um, and then generally, there's a couple different tweaks with some of the weapons. The hammer got a little slower and a little heavier. Because really, compared to the hammer, this old axe 
just was kind of outclassed. So the hammer got a little bit of a nerf. We'll see how how much that um, that passes on there. Uh, the grog, ye old grog, um, grog, ex grog. It uh, lost a little bit of its stun recovery, I think, and energy. Anyhow. Just some tweaks there, some other things too we've not ever gotten close to in what we're doing. There was one other, oh yeah, there's a cool thing I wanted to point out. I was just going on and on about the diff, how the RPG was so much better than a single shot rocket launcher, SSRL. Well, the SSRL got a facelift and a little difference here. So now it's a Panzerfaust, which is an awesome, awesome tool. Um, it's it's basically the same thing as the SSRL. However, it got boosted in its uh, explosive power. So now it's 120 compared to 75. That's a significant boost. Um, especially if you're going at a harder target, its range is a little shorter. Um, but yeah, it kind of makes sense now. So we'll see. We'll see if we ever buy those or not. But uh, anyhow... Okay, so we got that uh, covering some things here that I wanted to talk about. Um, doop, 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 doop. Okay, so we're basically waiting for our crew to get on, uh, get back here. We didn't pick up anything in the program, unfortunately. We threw some stuff out. Um, let's see the logs here. We've got transfers inbound. We've got um, a bunch of peoples, a couple attack dogs. We've got a brainer, got some good gear. 62 hours still until they come okay well with that in mind there's not a whole heck of a lot more to do here except uh speed the time up here we'll get the old bonnie home get her gassed up ready to roll in case we come up with any more contacts here okay so we got um we got a bunch of gear showing up all right We've made our run of black powder bombs there. That's cool. Let's see. What can we make now? We've been making grog for a while. All right. Let's see here. Vessels, guns. This is cool. Um, I haven't really played with this in the nightlies, but it's cool. It subdivides it out into the things that you can make according to category, which can help pretty quickly. Um, ammo standard. Um, all right. Guns. We can make flintlocks, muskets, blunderbuss, assault cannon. None of those are we going to make. And uh, we don't really want to make any vessels right now. We don't even have hangar space. All right. We will just go back and to making grog. Let's put all our runs on there again. Make us some money, gals. Make us some money. If you'd be so kind. There we go. The money's ticking up. And we got a couple attack dogs. Good. I like that. 29th, 30th making some money and here comes our ladies all right check your hideout first of all brainer number quattro if you will come in here please and join the progress on slavery we will have some things we want to do personal armor parts i think if we research these we can make our own tack vests which are cool um for maybe a little cheaper here um, primitive weapons is good. Yeah, I still want to do slavery. We'll look at more projects as soon as that one comes through. Um, but we've got some hands, some new hands on deck. And we, um, we need to go ahead and name them. Uh, Skinny Zava, Rugged Wheel, Impish Spider, Witchy Yuki, and Happy Serpent. I love the pirate name file. Um, it's brilliant. This is the coolest thing in the world. But we do have a bunch of folks, a bunch of fine gals that have enlisted to join our crew. And so we're going to get them in here. I'm bringing everybody on basically in the order that they signed up. So let's go ahead and do this. I often do this off screen because whenever you type or do numbers on the internet or anything like that, most frequently you will make some sorts of mistakes. So Purple Acronymous. Welcome to the piratical adventure that we have here. This is Christoph4197, one of my buddies who's joined up. Okay, so uh, Swabby Purple Acronymous, uh, time units 68, not bad. The bravery reactions is pretty decent. Melee accuracy is good. I like that. I'm going to give you a K. Uh, strength is decent, not bad. Uh, firing accuracy, meh, not so good. Okay, good. All right, next. The Rugged Wheel is actually Ornery Nicole. Welcome, Omni Null. 
Welcome to this fine venture. Let's see here. Ooh, melee. You got good melee. Strength is okay. Not so hot. Throwing actually not so good. Firing actually not so good. Reaction's okay. Bravery's in the tank. That's pretty pretty lousy actually. Um, time units. Brrr. Yeah, not so great. Not not terrific. What? Did, well, I guess I don't know. Since we've had as high as 80. I mean, 80 is awesome. Okay, Ornery Nicole, welcome. Impish Spider, you are now Blonde Jasmine. Blonde Jasmine, thank you so much, Jasmine Cruz, for for volunteering to sign up and join this piratical adventure. It is awesome to have you on board. You are decent, uh, fair time units, fair reactions, fair firing, okay, but good and strong. Strong is good. Uh, melee accuracy, not so much. So maybe a hammer slinger, you. Just bash him. Bash him over the hammer. Jasmine Cruz. Okay. Yep. And let our next witchy Yuki. You actually are <laughs> Wily Tomcat. I like that. Wily Tomcat. Wily Tomcat. Niv Nivrut 10. That's who you are. 68 time units. Stamina, 78, okay. Bravery, reactions is good. Firing accuracy, okay. Strength, oh my god, you're so weak. Ah. You will definitely be wearing the runt armor because otherwise you won't be able to pick up anything. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, runt armor for you. Happy Serpent, no longer. You will be carnal lecherous. <laughs> I love that name, Carnal Lecherous. Oh my God, that's amazing. Carnal Lecherous is Dark Nebula 115. Welcome to the Piratical Venture. Melee accuracy is good. Uh, strength is okay. Firing accuracy is really good. Pretty doggone good there. Reactions and my time units okay. All right, welcome, welcome, Carnal Lecherous, and we are back to our crew. So we need to get our gals loaded on board the Bonnie. And we can do that. And I think I'm going to change our track here. I've been listening to this fine musical interlude for a while, but let's go ahead and get something new on. This is the awesome music here. Our poor gals who perished in our base defense. Okay, I've got a different uh, Geoscape track going. All right, so we've got our new hands. That is amazing. Let's go see what our end of month report is like because I want to see... There it is. Okay. You are a public enemy. Six, uh, 769. Decent maintenance is what that caused our income and our maintenance. We've got a balance of about what we had before. Okay. We are up 69. Dark Dominion thinks we're most humble and has decided to reduce production payments. Well, okay. All right already. But everybody else seems to like us fairly well. That's pretty good. Pretty good. The nations of the world are bloody scared of you. Keep up the good work. All these other nations are particularly scared and have agreed to increase them payments. Dark Dominion thinks you're most harmless after all and has decided to reduce them protection payments. Aye. Okay, so there we are. <sighs> we don't have a lot of money. You know, this end of the month thing didn't kick in like $2 million to buy new hideouts and really upgrade our stuff. And we still really need a barracks. And what would it cost to put in a new hangar? 200,000. That feels like a lot. Um, a long range radar would be good, but that's 800,000. That feels like a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, libraries are whole, holy guacamole expensive. The outpost. It's almost. It's almost worth it to put an outpost in. It gives us a little more stores, a little more barracks, and a little more radar. Why not? Why not? Let's put an outpost in. Um, and it's fairly cheap. Um, I think technically it's probably good for extra hideouts, but the outpost, if we take a look at it in the Bootypedia of building, let's see here buildings do, 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 do. this is an awesome song 
uh, outpost here. Construction time 10 days, 150 maintenance costs, small and cheap radar facility with 10 bunks and 25 storage space, ideal for backwater hideouts. So we can put 10 more peeps in there. Uh, it is of budget variety with a 650 nautical mile detection radius, yet it can detect any flying objects within that radius with 100% accuracy with a delay anywhere within one to 600 seconds. Let's take a look at our other radars. Okay, so here's our short uh, high res high res short range later radar blah, 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 that we have currently. Without radars, you're effectively blind or at least one-eyed, as detecting any prey would require patrolling the skies of your craft. The radar is a large version of a high-resolution system mounted on crafts. A full sweep takes 10 minutes and automatically detects any craft within a range of 1,250 nautical miles. Okay, so this says it automatically detects them. The other one will detect them closer. You know, I really don't care. I think it's actually a pretty good value compared to our barracks, which costs twice as much. It gives us 25. I don't know. And um, there is, I believe, a larger barracks to be had that uh, may be a great solution down the road. But we'll see how that goes. So that's 1250 Wait a minute. Was that the right one? Was I looking at the wrong one? Ivan, were you looking at the wrong radar? Long range radar. This is 3,000 nautical miles. Woof. Wowie. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great, but no. Okay, anyway, let's move on here. Let's see what the nations of the world throw at us. We have a shipping 11, a size small, high south. Speed 720. Where are you going, my ship? You're going that way. After getting that base defense mission, it kind of just makes you a little leery of everything. Now, I think what I need to do is equip our girls to the Bonnie. So let's get that done really quick here. Vessels, let's get everybody on their crew. Okay, we've got two wounded gals, but let's get on purple front. Let's get them on board. And we'll see about where they go. Uh, sure. Now, I am still not a master of the layouts of putting them in order in the Bonnie, but I know there is one, and actually I've made a diagram of sorts. Thank you guys for the comments, explaining that a bit. Um, and I probably will at some point do a much better job of lining these things out here. Um, so that's good. Let's get some armor on those gals that are not armored. All right, Wiley, you've already got a runt armor. Carnal Lecherous. Uh, since you're going to be swinging stuff, let's give you pirate armor, too. Purple Acronymous. Let's give you pirate armor. Ornery Nicole, you can have runt. No, no. Uh, purple Acronymous, you can have... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You can have pirate armor, and um, you can have runt armor. I don't know if that makes sense, really, but it sounds good. All right, equipment. Got some dogs. Dogs, get on board. Woof. Okay, assault pistol. Domestic shotgun. Now, these rubber slugs are actually only 16 stun damage. Ah, I'm not sure what that'll stun. Really, it's not that good after all. Once I, once I took a look at it in the Bootypedia. This, this weapon's pretty decent. Uh, 30 damage and decent accuracy and stuff. All right, smokes. Let's get some smokes on board and some incendiaries for these grenade launchers. You make them a little more fun. Um, get some black powder bombs on board. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We can make Molotovs and black powder. Black powders out the wazoo. We will be doing that for sure. HE grenades. Sure, why not? Bandages. Sure, why not? Uh, Adam beer. Yes more beer all right and here is I don't know if I mentioned this now I don't see these in the bootypedia so I think we have to research these at some point or maybe we'll find we'll interrogate somebody and it'll give us some space so we've actually got seven space available still after this okay all right nine gals two dogs what could possibly go wrong what could possibly go wrong all right let's get the Bonnie out there check out this Joker come on Bonnie let's find it do, 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 do. Love this music. Such an awesome music set. Okay, you are actually. Here we go, our intercept music. 
Um, and what are you? You are a small... Mm, do you land or do I shoot you down? I am tempted... I'm tempted to shoot you down. Being as how... Okay, come over here. Uh, being as how... We have not found... Um, being as how we, we did get one landed UFO. And we got some fuel from it. Come on. Okay. And engage. Ramming speed. And this is my disengage button if they start tearing me up. Go, 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 go. This really takes slow. We be fired at. Them shipping crashes and burns. Excellent. I like the sound of that. Yes, I think we are ready for battle. Yar. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. So the dogs. All right, the two dogs. Now, actually, yeah. So that weighs more than they can carry. Now we can do some tricky, tricky stuff with the dogs, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet. Adam Beer. So let's see here. Wily Tomcat, you are swing. You are weak. You are at your weight limit, but you're ready to grab some beer. Good, good. I like it. Um. What'll we give you? Okay, so the shovel doesn't weigh too much, actually. It gives you a decent amount. You got. I do want everybody to have one of those. Um, I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to come back uh, in a moment after I have set up uh, the gals and equipped them. So hang on a second. And I have now equipped the gals, um, given Wily Tomcat, who's our weakest soldier, the shovel, because it actually does a big, big amount of damage for um, what it packs. And um, with the runt duds, she's able to handle it okay. It gives 60 melee damage, which is pretty doggone good. Carnal Lecherous, uh, with accuracy of 66, is sporting the RPG, maybe seeing if we can snipe some uh, armored troops there if we run into them. We've got Minty Muffin testing out the new uh, Husqvarna chainsaw in uh, an attempt to uh, tear apart anybody that comes in the way. Also sporting a primed smoke grenade. We need to get those out of the craft before they blow up. Out of the craft. This is a good thing. Stanky Cap we've got with um, an axe. We'll see how this works. Uh, good melee is good for this. And of course high strength. Also being able to move fairly quickly is gonna be decent um i'm still not sure that i really like this better than a hammer but uh it will work um we got one in priscilla is actually going with a grenade launcher this time around and i think we'll do the same and kind of keep her up we do have a smoke round this time and a, an incendiary with some high explosives we'll see how well this sets up for us also sporting some black powder bombs on our gals We'll see how those go. Purple Acronymous is swinging the piratey cutlass there, looking great. And Gangplank hanging out with a hammer, some decent explosives. Most everybody's carrying a handle as well for those up close and thumping moments. Ornery Nicole, welcome with your big old hammer. That should be awesome. Blonde Jasmine also sporting a hammer. Blonde Jasmine, not quite living up to your name there, last, but. Uh, yeah, we, we know what you want to be. We know you want to be that blonde girl. That's okay. And you're looking great there. Looking great. And our two attack dogs. So let's get rolling. Okay, so we're at the corner of the map. Perfect. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some terrain. Where's my girls with the guns? With the Okay, so the RPG. I think we'll run you up here. Okay, and where's my gal with a uh, grenade launcher up there? Perfect. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to do anything this turn. Um, I did find out that if you drop a smoke grenade right here, it fills up the interior of the craft and your girls pass out. So that's generally maybe not advisable. Um, we'll spread the dogs out here a little bit. Um... I kind of want to peek up out of the top, but I want to do it after the enemy turn to uh, get a get a glimpse of what's going on here. Okay, so we got some gals there. Stealthy uh, cuttlefish, ornery. Let's 
going to move people around just a touch here. Um, okay, let's give him a turn. Ooh, that was very fast. Very, very fast. Okay. Uh, One-eyed Priscilla. She's our big boss gal lady. We got a little mountain over here. Anything? Oh, whoa, that thing's been hammered. We got a dead there too. Dead. Hey, dead. What's going on? Up a little more. Still not seeing anything. Okay, fine. Up. Another one. Okay. Hello? Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy! Ahoy, mates! Okay, so no one directly in sight. We do have a damaged enemy craft in sight with a dead. So the old Bonnie really tore that ship up a lot, which is fine. We may be able to loot some gear out of there. All right. Um, Minty, if you would do me... Oh, we didn't see him coming. Okay, so he is sporting some armor. Um, is this primed? It is primed. In that case, throw it there. Okay. Let's step back in. Okay, so One-Eyed Priscilla, your snapshot is not fast enough. Can you come back down, please? Thank you. Okay, so Carnal Letrus, look over here. Gander snapshot. Um. Yeah, do I want to waste an RPG four thousand dollar round? on a chance that it may miss at 30%? No, I don't think so. Okay, so what else can we do here? We could prime this. We could toss it over his direction. Stanky Cap. You can see him. Can you throw to him? Yeah, pretty close. I don't know that that's going to kill him, but it should put some damage on him. Okay. That I do like. That I do like. Um, uh, pup, jump down, take a look, and sprint this way. Okay, I like that. The valley looks like it might be clear, and we're going to put you in there, just on the off chance. Uh, we're going to back you up a little bit, just on the off chance that uh, anybody steps out around here. Okay. That I like. Actually, second pup, I think I may have you do my initial scouting up up the stairs. Come on up there. Yes, sir. You come on up there. Okay. Looks good. Carnal, look that way. And me other gals. Alright, let's give him a turn. Okay, it didn't get him. It didn't get him. Alright. Pooch, can you get up there past Carnal? No, you can't. So, Carnal, go up there. You can't see him. Alright, ladies. We do have the smoke in the way now, too. Hmm. I also want to be so careful. Whoa! That's not exactly what I meant. I meant it to take them up. How fast can you run there? Not fast enough to get a swing in. And if he comes around, he may be shooting. All right, go right there. Are you in the smoke? You're in the smoke, aren't you? Step out of the smoke. Take a knee. All right. I don't know how hard this will be, but it's worth a sh worth a shot. Okay, other pup. Come on, pup. Let's go. S Ooh, we got one inside. He's up there. So he's sporting some kind of little gun. Looks like it may be a submachine gun. I don't know. Um. One eye Priscilla, can you come up here? And if you look over there, and if you aim shot, you could hit him with 48% accuracy. Ooh, looks like it stunned him. Nice. Nice. Dog. Okay, anyone? No. Not so far. Dog? Hello? Dog's doing her scouting. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, it looks like a small map, too. Okay, so we had a bad guy here, a bad guy there. Um, dog. 
I'm thinking maybe to have the dog actually come down and do some scouting for us. It's kind of what they're there for. Let's see if the dog uh, just passes out in the smoke in the next turn. Hello? There he is. Okay. Run back, dog. Run back. Okay. Purple Acronymous. Actually, do you have a black powder bomb? I want to test those out. Now, these are like a Molotov that you aim shot them. Oh. Can it go that far? It can't. So, 27 it needs to be in range there. And you have... What's the cost to throw? 34. Okay, how about now? Well, we missed, but it blew up over there. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. So you probably need to be over here, too. Oh, grenade magnet. Ivan's doing a grenade magnet. Okay, blonde jasmine. Let's see if you are more of a skilled shot than your fellows actually let's get you a little bit closer blonde jasmine we're blowing lots of stuff up over here but not really there okay Tickney. um okay all right minty muffin minty muffin come out we'll see about run okay wily tomcat you actually have a decent amount of time units We'll get you out here sporting your shovel. See about bashing his head next turn. Alright, give him a turn. Nothing. Dog. Look that way. Go that way. There he is. He's walking away. He's running away. Okay, so we've got some casualties here. Some dead, some chips, some spray guns. Okay, fine. Anybody else over here? No. Okay. Other dog? I'm going to go ahead and just continue. We're almost done with this mission here. I was thinking about putting a cut in it. A little bit of money. Got a, yep, an SMG here. Got a dead. Okay. I wonder if we can catch up to that guy and thump him. He actually may be hurt, too. So who's our fastest gals here? Purple, Chronomus. Well, all you gals are relatively fast. Can, you can see him there, but you can't really get there and thump him. Hmm. Can we get to the other side and out of his line of sight this way? Have the UFO blocking it as well? Alright, Wiley, step back this way. I think you're in the smoke. I know the dog was in the smoke. Hmm. Okay. We could, we could try the dart rifle. Got to be in 15 tiles for the diet rifle. All right, let's give him another turn. Let's see what he does. Didn't see him. Okay, Wily Tomcat is taking smoke inhalation. Okay, he can see now. And he, so he stepped up here, stepped back. He probably has enough time for reaction shots. Purple Acronymous, I think this is your time to go in swinging. Uh, that'll be three swings. Yep. Okay, whew. Aim that way. That'll be... One. Miss. And another miss. Miss! Miss! You're missing! Okay, Wily. Get closer. Hit him. Just hit him. There's no one there. Yes, hit that way. Ah! It's not the only guy! Not the only guy. Did this guy come back too? No. Um, ladies, look around you, please. Dog, where is my other dog? Hello? Dog. Did my other dog pass out? No, he's right there. Other dog, there you are. Dog? Ah, he's over here. Oh, he's got a dart gun. Hmm. Okay, I like it. Hopefully our girls don't succumb to the smoke here. Um, okay. Dog, you can't see him. Yeah, you can run down over there maybe he'll come up after you and you girls need to get out of the smoke and the smoke is spreading toward you isn't it get out of the smoke okay good stanky cap you need to come over here too 
cool. Okay, give everybody a turn. So, he moved somewhere. Oh, my attack dog passed out. The attack dog passed out. Where did the rascal go? There he is. Okay, these girls are getting smoked too. Um, purple Acronymous. Can you get in there? And can you last another turn? That's the thing. Oops. Come on in here. Okay. Uh, stay over here. Girls are getting so much smoke damage now that I guess there is um, some sort of armor I could research that uh, smoke ops gear. Oh! He knocked the dog out. Okay, but he is almost certainly out of energy after that. Come on, right here. And hit him. Knock him down. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so we got one. We got some plastisteel, and that's it. But we got 90, 92 notoriety. Cool. That was a fun mission. Fun little mission there. But we will go ahead and wrap this episode up after that. I do want to thank everybody for joining me for this 10th episode of Let's Play Pirates. You have been swinging the shovels with Ivan Dogovich. Cheers! <laughs>